Oh, hey, happy Friday. You're in the meditation studio with yours truly, Dr. Carol, your duly board certified family medicine doctor and obesity medicine specialist. I'm also America's master movement, meditation, and mindset expert here to help us all optimize our life, this one best life, this one great life, this one gift of life that we have right here together right now. This week I want to talk about desire. What is that deep desire that is sitting on your heart right now? What is that deep love, that deep expression of your true self that you want to birth into the world, that you want to see born? Never mind about the challenges of this week, the difficulties, the disappointments, the disconnects. Just let it all go right now. I want you to settle yourself and tap into the desire of your heart, the desire of your heart. Your true self, the unapologetically you self, the ain't no doubt about it. This is who you are, your authentic self. Show up in this moment right now if only for yourself there is no one looking. There is no one watching. Do not be fooled. Do not be held back. The world will give you a mirror of lies, of untruths. That is not your true self. See, we're talking about tapping into that place that's it's really resiliency, but it's more than that. It's self-regulation. It's authenticity, it's balance, it's knowing who you really are and then believing it and going full speed ahead to greet yourself coming into the middle of next week. Because that's how powerful you are, that's how great you are, that's how magnificent you are. Can you feel it? Take a deep cleansing breath in through your nose. Know how loved you are because the breath has just entered your body, giving a, another opportunity right now to make it right, right now to correct that thought of self-doubt self-sabotage, self-destruction. Mm. Get behind all of that. Release all of that and reveal the desires of your heart. So on this day, let's set our desires free. Do you know that as you become more and more spiritually aware, that you will come to understand that those desires, those wants, they're put there by a loving universe to inspire you, to pull you forward, to have you go on in spite of, because of, no matter what. Because the world needs you. The world needs your story. The world needs your hope, your love, its full expression. Look at a tree in the midst of these summer days in full expression. A tree could not imagine not being fully expressed. When I was coming home the other night and I saw a cluster of deer, and oh, they were beautiful, unapologetically beautiful. A deer could no more imagine not stepping into and fulfilling its loveliness 
than it could imagine not bending over and eating a blade of grass. Oh, and the flowers that are in bloom right now with the color and the richness and the just, again, unabashed, unashamed beauty. Can you imagine a flower not blooming? And you, my dear, are like that flower. Why do you not let yourself bloom? Why do you hold yourself back? Why do you let others make you less than what you are? You were designed to be fully expressed in this life, in this world, right now, unabashedly, unapologetically, to be loving, to be whole, to bring love and light and goodness into the world. Let's tap into all of that richness and magnificence right now. Let's meditate. So allow yourself to come into a comfortable position. Go ahead and close your eyes. You don't need to see me. Just need to hear the sound of my voice. Eyes closed. I'm going to close mine with you. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Concentrate on the breath. If thoughts come and they will come, that's the job of this magnificent frontal lobe of ours. Just allow that cloud to drift by like a cloud drifting by in a bright blue sky. Maybe even place your hand on your heart and through our sense of touch to remind ourselves that we are completely free to tap into the deepest desire of our heart, knowing that it is our life calling unto itself to be fully expressed, to come fully forward. And let us breathe, letting the belly become soft and full. And as we breathe in, breathe in soft. And breathe out belly. So we breathe soft belly. Soft belly. Soft belly. At our own rate, rhythm, and timing. Beautiful. Stay with this for a few more breaths. Savoring each breath. Letting the mind and the thoughts slow down with each breath. And let's close our meditation on this day just with a few gentle movements, pushing away, imagining that you're pushing away anything that no longer serves. What do you need to let go to be fully expressed, to be abundant and heavy with the leaves of your tree? to be as graceful as the deer grazing by the side of the road, to be as bright, rich, and beautiful as the flower in flu, full bloom. Now with your imagination, what do you need to call into your life? Call into your life. Call into your life. Resting hands on heart. Know that the expression of your desires is your life calling completely unto itself to be fully expressed. Thank you so much for sharing this meditation time with me. I hope that you'll spend a few more moments on your own, just breathing, getting familiar with the breath, 
getting familiar with this wonderful heart of yours and even writing down what your deepest desires might be. In the meantime, I'd like you to come on over and visit me at www.drcarolpen.com. That's D-R-C-A-R-O-L-P-E-N-N.com. Please schedule some time to talk to me. I'd love to talk to you about my online courses in Qigong and in meditation. I'd love to talk to you about my book and see how I can get my book into your school community or perhaps into the religious education department of your community of faith. Let's spread these good works and these good deeds in a world that needs your story and my story. Good night. Meditation in a Time of Madness dot com is where you can find out about the book and order your copy. And I'm looking forward to seeing you again next Friday.